The Department of Labor issued an opinion letter on Monday that just turned former President Barack Obama's world completely upside down. The letter recognized the gig businesses workers as contract labor, which is a favorable sign for other companies built on the gig economy business model. A gig business is a company that uses a technological platform based online or on an app that connects them with customers. Special offer, free Trump 2020 hat while supplies last Uber and Lyft are the largest companies that use this model, meaning they use a smartphone app to connect customers to service providers. Here's more from the Daily Caller on the letter and what it means. One of the greatest threats to the gig economy is whether the service providers on the platforms are classified as employees or contract labor. If the providers are employees, the businesses would be required to pay workers minimum wage and overtime, and the employees would be protected under a suite of labor laws. As contractors, the worker-slash-company relationship is much looser. Companies are not allowed to control a worker's schedule or quality of work. In some cases, the company may not even determine the worker's pay, leaving it to be negotiated between the service provider and the customer. The difference in classification can result in a cost difference of millions of dollars for gig companies and undermine the entire business model and, depending on the company, render it almost entirely unworkable. The name of the specific business that requested the opinion letter was not made public. The dull letter refers to a single business and judges whether, in the view of the Labor Department, whether that business uses contract labor or employees. The letter is not meant to apply to the gig industry at large. However other businesses using the gig model can use the letter to get a glimpse into the administration's thinking as well as defend their own businesses, if they can prove they use a similar model to the business described in the letter. Nationwide poll, was Obama the worst president in history? The opinion letter represents a shift from how things were run under Obama. Under the under-administration the Dole classified service providers in companies like Uber and Lyft as employees. The new rules will give contractors in these industries more flexibility with their schedules and pay as well as saves gig businesses millions of dollars. An important role of the U.S. Department of Labor is to ensure that employers who want to do the right thing have clear compliance assistance, Dole Wage and Hour Division Acting Administrator Keith Zondelink said in a statement. Today, the U.S. Department of Labor offers further insight into the nexus of current labor law and innovations in the job market. This is just another example of the Trump administration rolling back Obama-era rules and implementing new ones that benefit both businesses and workers. Related, Barack Obama was seeing red after this unexpected double-cross related, VP Mike Pence drops the hammer, demands top dem be removed, you might like let's block ads. Why?